Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas. Today I have for you the books that I am reading this holiday season. So let's jump right into the video. The very first book I am reading is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This book, so I'm halfway, almost halfway through and I started reading it in November. And so far I am loving it because it's almost like a Groundhog Day. If you know anything about Groundhog Day, the movie is basically where the um, main character keeps reliving the same day over and over again. So I thought that sounded pretty interesting and unique, especially for the holiday season. I hadn't read or seen a book like that regarding holiday themes. So I've never read anything by Christina Lauren, but I am loving her writing style so far. The book is lovely. And the only reason it's taken me a long time to read because I should have been done with it by now. I am the slowest reader in the world. That's why I always do Audible. Audiobooks are the perfect thing for me because I can get through books really fast and they don't hurt my eyes. The only time I really have to read is like right before bed. And usually right before bed, my eyes are like, I'm done. There's no more reading, you're done. So I can only read a little bit at a time, but I wanna get through these um, next books this holiday season. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try my hardest. So I'm hoping to finish this book this week. I'm going to read as much as I can, and I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Christina Lauren, but she's a really excellent writer. I'm loving the book, and it's all about this girl that goes to um, a cabin where she has been with, she has gone through with her family her whole life and something happens that um, she ends up ha getting into an accident and reliving that same day over and over and over again. And I'm in the middle of the fun and games part. If you guys did not see my series on Save the Cat Writes a Novel, that is um, one of the beats is the fun and games and that is exactly where I'm at right now. But so far, In a Holidays is fantastic. The next book I got was Kristen Hanna's Comfort and Joy. And this is all about a woman that is kind of um, not loving the holidays as much as she used to. She goes to a little town where she meets a little boy that just lost his mom, that um, the father is in desperate need to bring some joy back into his life and the two worlds combine and we'll see what happens after that. And the reason I picked up this book is because I love Kristen Hanna. One of my favorite books of all time is The Nightingale. And when I saw that she had a Christmas book, I was like, I have to pick it up and read it. It's a really short book. It's only like 250 something pages. Yeah, 258 pages. So I thought, short, done, I'll do it. So I'll let you guys know how this one is, but this is one of the books I am reading this holiday season. Next, I picked up Sophie Kinsella's uh, Christmas Shopaholic and the reason I picked this one up is because I'm a big fan of Sophie Kinsella. She is the chick lit queen and as you guys know I write chick lit so I really enjoy her style of writing and if you guys saw the movie Confessions of a Shopaholic I'm sure you're familiar with her and this is all about um, Becky goes back to which is the main character she goes back home um, from the States to celebrate, you know, she's finally settled at home. She she's, works at a little store with her best friend. She takes time off to be mindful, to meditate, to just chill and center herself. And she's looking forward to the holidays with her parents, the traditions, all the things. But then her parents throw a curveball at her and ask her to host the holidays this season. And what could go wrong, right? Probably a lot. So I thought it sounded fun. It is it does, um, it is long. It's got like 445 pages, so it is lengthy. I'm hoping I can get through it, but if I can't read it fast, then I'll just get the audio version and listen to it while I, you know, do other things around the house. 
and I'm fine with that. I like to have the physical copy anyway. So yeah, I have, that's the next one. And if you guys saw my video from the, this last weekend, I did get the Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas. It, it's not a book to read, but obviously it's a coffee table book, but there are things that you can read in it. So whenever I sit down at my coffee table, if I don't have the TV on and I just want to look through the book, there are things that you can read through. So these are the four books that I picked up this holiday season and I'm really happy I hope to build my collection as I just told you all my books are pretty much on audible because that's how I do most of my reading but I do love to have the physical copy of the book so that is it the question for today's video is what book are you reading for the holidays or do you have a favorite book for the holidays i would love to know what it is leave it in the comments below as you guys know to be entered in the vlogmas giveaway you have to like and comment every video during vlogmas you must be subscribed to the channel if you have not watched the giveaway video make sure you go back and watch it is video two of the series and yeah you guys i hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far and i will see you guys again in a brand new video tomorrow until then stay safe